Hello everyone and welcome back to another showcase on Dark Souls 3. So, it's that time again. Time to do another whip. Why well, am I wearing this ridiculous outfit? Well, when I did my uh, spiked mace about showcase, I noticed, huh, there's the uh, notched whip right on the belt. Why is a person of prayer and, you know, of faith carrying around this effing whip? What do these people do? No matter. Today's item is the notched whip. It takes that very same whip and adds various spikes of dowel down it. You know, because regular whips just aren't good enough. <laughs> you gotta add spikes to it. Sweet Jesus. This description reads, A whip with thorny spikes that shred skin, causing heavy bleeding. I think it causes more than bleeding, to be honest. The cleansing chapel uses whips uh, such as these in order to produce the drop and puddles to wipe off clean during its rituals. What? What? <laughs> the cleansing chapel. Were they cleansing themselves with members? <laughs> but anyway, the skill is impact. Strike from the left to evade shields and deal a stinging blow that temporarily slows stamina recovery. And they added the and they also added the extra note down there. The shackles of bondage lie deep within the hearts of all human or all humankind. Uh huh. So you mean this won't work against half the enemies in the game? <laughs> oh, this weapon. I am not a fan of whips, if you don't know. I am not. The first whip, whip went so horribly. I just hope this one's a little bit better. So visually, it's still a whip. Don't need to show any picture, everyone knows what a whip looks like. Except it has a bunch of effing spikes that look just about four inches in length. That is brutal. Get by this, pretty sure you're gonna get three inches of those four inches of that whip. Unless they end at the very end, I'm pretty sure you get the full four inches. So I'm pretty sure this will cause more than heavy bleeding. This will probably cause death. Very quickly. In multiple areas. Hits your back, boom. Muscles gone. Hits your neck, boom. You're gonna bleed out from the neck very quickly. Hits it in the head, it probably punctures your skull and you're dead. This is a, this is the overkill. If you chop it down to like one inch, both spikes, then it would cause heavy bleeding. Then it would mean it wouldn't kill you in one hit. <laughs> but depending on whatever this hits, it's gone. It's crippled. It's got fucking orange spikes in it. Oh, this is brutal. Anyway, the stats of the notched whip. The physical, well, not so surprised, not very strong in terms of physical. Not the whips are. But what really hurts is that bonus damage is so damn low. Oh, it's so damn low. Oh, that's horrible. Moving on from physical, we got the additional effect of 33 bleed damage. Again, there's a lot more than bleed damage in real life, but whatever. True bonus though, we only get a D for dexterity. No strength here. Not at all. And the true requirement, you ask for a bit of strength, but you should have that strength if you have 19 dexterity. It goes without saying. Then we got the special move, Impact which cost only 14 FP, so very little. Almost no FP it cost at all. And weight is 2.0. It's not pretty hefty for a whip, but it's a light compared to anything else in the game. So all in all, mm, a bit of mediocre stats to be honest. L about low average physical, very poor bonus, the trio bonus only going to dexterity. Yeah, hmm. The animations, the basic attack, is the basic whip slash. These are all slow, slow attacks, is my main problem with the weapon. Uh, the power attack is a very heavy horizontal... What do you call it? What do you call these moves? Whips? Lunges? No? Anyway, the two-handed power attack is more of the same thing, just a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Power attack? Two-handed power attack, anyway, is heavy overhand whipping. It's all I can call these maneuvers. And we got the special, the impact. There's no follow-up with the power attack, though, as I demonstrated here. And then you get the sprint attack, which is quick whip. Somewhat. So this weapon is upgraded with Titanite shards. And we can see that bonus damage, only four for every level up. Oh, that's horrible. It's so bad. We don't get a whole lot. At least the basic. We can just get a tree bonus goes to C, but why does it matter? 
You get like no bonus damage still. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. But oh well, what can you do? I'm taking the shield to my own safety again. Because I expect to get hurt while using this. Not because I'll hit myself with the whip. It's because whips are slow. Now, these whips do not do backstabs. It's we already demonstrated that from the first whip I covered. They don't do backstabs. None of them do. Man! The enemies like to pound on me when I had a really shitty weapon on me. I'm not to say it's shitty, well, it's incredibly difficult to use, you know, without getting hurt. At least I have excellent range. And that's the one nice thing about whips, they have excellent, excellent range. Uh, so we're doing roughly 100 damage. Well, we can see right there, we do almost 200 damage with someone without armor. So we can see this weapon's very heavily impacted by armor. Oh, that's horrible. That was only the first two enemies. <laughs> uh, so yes, these guys joke. They don't stand a chance because they're too slow. And we can see here we do plenty of damage. Power attack nearly does 200. Oh boy, here comes another armored individual. That's the power attack. No joke, 120 damage. I'm going to see if I can do something at the shield. But I don't think I can. Oh, no. well, look at that. Two hits. Let's try it again. Uh, three hits this time. So, you know, it does actually go through shields. That's unexpected. Wow. Okay. Here's something to this after all. Okay, now I sped up this fight because it just took too damn long in all three attempts. So I took my best run and I just sped it up by <laughs> times two. It was, did a very poorly against a Gorgal. Gurgle has a lot of well, defense and is very slow. So you take a weapon with low attack damage and slow also, it's just it's a bad combo. It's a bad combination. Never want to do that. Do you make me fight the Black Knight? Please. <laughs> oh, this is, this is where I dread. I know I have to fight this guy with a whip. Something with armor and it's fast with, with a powerful weapon, that's just going to hurt. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, I might have gone through the shield of the Cathedral Knight, but these guys don't use their shield. It's almost for show. Oh, man. I'm going to get my ass hat to me. There's no good way to go talk about this. It's just something you don't wouldn't want to use against these guys, unless you're really trying to put yourself the ultimate challenge run. Otherwise, ugh, it's difficult to even use the range, because these guys close range very quickly. I may have reach, but he has reach as well with his giant axe. Uh, at least I can get hurt too much. Not too much, hopefully. Okay, enough of that. Moving on to the pros and cons of the notched whip. So on the pro side, you got that bleed damage has been added. That's there, at least. This weapon has an excellent reach compared to most other cat weapon categories. And it surprisingly gets through shields. Surprisingly. Wasn't expecting that at all. The original whip didn't do that. And that's it for the pros. On the cons, the damage is low. Very low. The animation speed is still very, very slow. This weapon cannot backstab. And it cannot, of course, ricochet, which is when you break away a shield and stab someone from the front. So even though I can get through shields, you can only attack them plainly still. But that's enough about the cons. The score for the Notch Whip, damage gets 3 out of 10. It did pretty shit against almost every category of enemy. Unless the enemy's just wearing a, a bunch of robes. <laughs> reach gets 8 out of 10, for being pretty much a longer reach than a greatsword. Matching up there with the, with the Ultra Greatswords in terms of reach. Animation gets 4 out of 10. For having pretty much almost no new animations, but there isn't that many whips. But at least has the one empty impact that, you know, is special. Bonus gets 2 out of 10 for really low bonus damage. Both in the beginning and after upgrade. Miscellaneous gets 7 out of 10. Since it has that bleed damage, and it can go through shields, which was something completely unexpected. Quite so. So, the Notch Whip 
in total gets 24 out of 50, which is a classification of bad. It just meets the bad requirement just below it. <laughs> but yes. Overall, it's the probably one of the better whips, but still, it's still a whip. And that's probably the, the main problem with it. <laughs> Some say, when you have a problem in life, you must whip it. Well, if you whip at this thing, they're gonna fucking die. Unless they're wearing a lot of armor on. <laughs> and wielding a great axe. Or are... Well, I don't know. Ten meters tall and made of stone. <laughs> God. But still, it's still the better whip than the original. But it's not saying much. But that's been showcased for today. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.